Hello friends, welcome to the Daily Dose. Here I will be coming today with a beautiful concept that why the oil tankers are not perfectly cylinders. There is so much research, there is so much thesis on that why they are curve shape. But there is very rare videos or very rare articles that why they are not perfectly cylinders. I will be telling both in this daily dose why they are curved or a bit of cylinder type and why they are not exactly cylinder that also I'll be telling you. So you have seen these kind of tankers and they are curved in the shape. What is the reason? Okay, not only these but the aeroplane windows, those are also not rectangular, those are also oval shaped and if I go further that all the tankers are not cylindricals. If I leave the oil tankers and I see normal cargo trucks, they are not cylindrical, they are not curved, they are perfectly rectangular. Then what, why this is perfectly rectangular? And why this is not rectangular, it is curved shape? Let me, before telling you the answer, let me ask you a question. Suppose this is a plate and here it is the hole and we are pulling by the P force. Now here, in this plate, if I draw the stress, suppose the area, net area, after deducting the area of the hole is P by A. So, this average stress if I write, then average stress will be P by A and it is tensile. The average stress is P by A, but if I write down the actual stress, the actual stress will be like this and whenever there is discontinuity, there is stress concentration. The stress increases there. This particular point, the stress or the force can be transmitted to all the atoms around 360 degree. But this particular atom, the stress is shared only in one direction. So this particular atom is in more stress, that is the stress concentration. This is the average stress. That is why we take factor of safety in RCC and steel. One of the reason is this. So whenever there is discontinuity, there is stress concentration. And guys, in aeroplane windows or in trucks, oil tanker, there is guys inside liquid in the oil tankers and that will be, that will make it under stress. So if I make a rectangular, if I make a rectangular uh, tanker, then these points have to be jointed by welding or riveting or whatever. So due to stress, there is discontinuity. Okay, there is discontinuity and when the, we fill this with oil or any other liquid or fluid, there will be the pressure all around and that pressure can break or here from here it uh, can leak, the oil can leak because these are very critical joints due to discontinuity, there is stress concentration and due to those joints oil can leak. But in a carriage way, the same thing is here also, due to the pressure of outside air, if there is discontinuity, if I make window like this, so discontinuity there will be stress concentration. And when there is a normal truck, there is no, this is not used to carry a oil or fluid. So there is not that much pressure as here. Okay. So that is why when there is no pressure, no fluid inside, only some load is there, we can use this also. Apart from stress concentration or discontinuity, there are some other reasons also. Now, right now I am only dealing with the first question, why they are curved? Why they are not exactly cylinders, that also I'll be telling you. So be till the end of this video. Now, guys, due to joints, critical joints, we are making it curve so that they are not breaking. Now, guys, one, I guess many of you might, might be getting this first time. Suppose this is only a rectangular tanker or rectangular carrier. So CG will be here. Now this circle also, a cylindrical, if this, if this, assuming it to be a circular cross section, then also CG will be here. But for this circular, like this, we can take more volume of uh, liquid now with same CG. 
with same CG, we can take more liquid. Now, CG will be here of this also. And when this is also here, so this here also we can put extra liquid. Now. So same CG. For same CG, we can carry more liquid. That is why the cylindrical shape is preferred. Guys, CG should be lowered. Because the overturning moment when it is in a curve will be mv square by r is the centripetal force and into h. So that h should be less. Here for the same h we can carry more liquid. Now the third point is cleaning will be difficult when it is a rectangular shape because at the edges it will be difficult. Also the drainage. When guys if you study chemical engineering if some of your students or colleagues are studying then in these kind of containers the drainage is a problem and guys here at the sides we have to do sometimes shaking for that shaking so that because if some fluid is like sticking so we have to shake here so that it can be drained out now one more thing i would to like to tell you that if shape is like this then there will be pressure here at the bottom and there's a huge amount of vertical component due to the fluid pressure but in this kind like this like this like this so total vertical component will be not that much because some will be the suppose I'm taking suppose guys I'm taking this vector so there is a vertical component some is horizontal component also so it will be little less than this same reason why we use tunnel to be circular shape or a curved shape so that the why that I have made a Sunday ka funda so net stress will be the lesser okay in the tunnels in this kind of shape that is why tunnel is like this now up to now I am telling you about that why they are curved due to otherwise in the joints if I make it rectangular it can break and CG and there are a couple of other reasons cleaning and drainage but the main reason is that joints will break because there will be stress, stress concentration. Now why they are not perfectly cylinders little bit of elliptical shape oil tanker are not exactly slender they are little bit of elliptical shape let me tell you a beautiful reason this reason is not much in the youtube or in any other article let me tell you if it is a perfect slender tank then the shape will be something like this now if it is ellipse or a, a, a slightly elliptical shape slightly elliptical elliptical with major axis horizontal not major axis like this okay so if it is slightly elliptical now the shape will be something like this or not as flat as I have made but it is something like this if you see the cross section of the IOCL oil tanker it is something like this so for the same volume the volume here is V, here is V. It, CG will be lesser. If, suppose here, the CG is here, for the same volume, CG is less here. And when CG is less, if any vehicle is moving in a horizontal curve with velocity V, from away from the center, there is a centrifugal force MV square by R, and there is an overturning moment MV square by R into H. For where the CG is lesser, so H is lesser, so overturning moment will be less. For the same volume, the elliptical shape with major axis horizontal, not this, this wala elliptical shape. So H is lesser. That is why we are not using perfect cylinder. That is the title of the today's video. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you find it interesting, please let me know in the comment section that what more topics you want. Guys, keep sharing this video to all your friends if you find it interesting. Thank you. Take care. Subscribe the channel for more such sessions. Thank you.